So in this video, I'm going to talk about why horse racing extra places are so difficult. Now, a lot of people, when they first start doing extra places and they first hear about extra places, they get really excited. They load up the computer, they jump over to Odds Monkey, they load up the extra place matcher, and then all of a sudden, bam, there's no high ratings on the extra place matcher. They're all low percentages, 85, 90%, and there's not a great deal of value from those particular selections of extra places. Now when you browse through more extra place markets you quickly see that this is a common theme that the ratings aren't super high and a lot of the time there isn't a great deal of value from different markets on extra places. Now there's a reason for this and I'm going to get into it in just a second but when people first start match betting they start with the free bet offers, the low hanging fruit offers, the basic bet x get y offers. Now these offers are super super easy to profit from and you could teach a monkey how to do this blindfolded because it's so basic isn't it you bet with a bookmaker you lay with a bet in exchange you qualify for your free bet you repeat the process but this time as you're using a free bet and you've got free money on one side of the uh, the equation on the back side it allows you to hedge out a guaranteed profit it's super simple stuff and if you do want to learn it check out my website profit pineapple i'll leave a link down below in the description of the video and there's a crash course I've got over there which will walk you through it step by step. It's proper basic stuff and loads of people get into match betting for that reason. It's super easy, guaranteed cash. What happens after a while is people hear about extra places, maybe their reload offers start to dry up a little bit so they're not getting as many free bet offers in their inbox, in their email. So they decide to have a look into extra places. So as I said before, they load up the extra place matcher and now when they're on the extra place matcher, it all seems a little bit more difficult and you kind of wonder, well, how does anybody make any money from extra places? Now, every year that goes by, it does get a little bit more challenging. You know, you were doing match betting 10 years ago. It would have been like super proper easy to profit from extra places from what I hear from other people that were match betting in that time period. The problem is now it's more competitive. More people are doing match betting and therefore it's harder to make this work and to get lots of profits out all extra places over the long run but because of that reason because it's harder to make profits and the barrier to enter it is much higher than the free bets there's so much more profit on offer from doing it now the reason a lot of people think it's going to be super easy to get on extra places and start making profit straight away is because obviously they come from the free bet side of things they come from the uh, the basic low hanging fruit bet x get y stuff and those free bet offers are really basic stuff you know the bookmakers are purposely dishing out value to their customers they're sort of saying here here's some value use it how you wish now they know most people most of their punters they might get lucky here and there with a free bet or two but long term they're just going to feed any winnings they get back into the bookmaker and ultimately they're not going to make any money so it's like a loss leader for the bookmakers they know they can do this match betters make up this much of their audience and that this many people are making profit but this many people the recreational customer side of things are just wasting wasting the value basically so bookmakers are giving away this value they're giving it away and that's why it's super easy to profit from there's no uh, you know there's no time restraints to it you can do it nice and easily sat there having a cup of tea nice and chilled out and you can make some decent little profits from it but because it is so easy there is a limit to how much profit you can make and you're obviously limited to the amount of free bets that you have now when you jump into extra places this is a completely new world this isn't no longer a low hanging fruit type thing where the bookmakers are dishing value to you on a silver platter extra places is all about taking value from a bookmaker if you look at the free bet side of things the bookmakers are dishing out value to you right there on a silver platter they're saying here take this value do whatever you want with it but when you jump into extra places like i said the value isn't there the bookmaker is no longer saying here's a nice little bit of value take it make all the profit you want with it you know entering a world with extra places where you have to take the value from the bookmaker they're not giving you the value anymore you now have to take it so unfortunately they don't dish out value with extra places and you've got to find the value for yourself. Now as a result of this, as a result of the fact that the bookmakers are constantly monitoring their odds and they're keeping the edge and the overround on their side, the ratings are going to be pretty low um, for, for the vast majority of extra place races that are available. Now the exception to this in a lot of cases is in the last 10 minutes, predominantly in the last 5 minutes before horse races start. You know, it gets really crazy with odds movement and stuff like that in the last five minutes or so with horse races and the bookmakers are obviously following Betfair and they're using Betfair as a template to make sure they can just use their odds on Betfair, put them on their side and make them shorter so they've got to do it takes a little bit of time to take the odds from Betfair, put them on their side and make them shorter and when this is happening there becomes opportunity when they don't do this in time for, for you to get on a good match you know you get high ratings at the top of the extra place matcher because the bookmakers can't keep up 
with the uh, with the uh, the odds and make them short and make them poor value to the customers. Now this is where generally this is where I'm taking value when I'm doing the positive EV style strategy of extra places. Now because the bookmakers can't get their odds lowered in time, you generally get a nice match on the extra place matcher. So the problem is a lot of people they see a nice match on the extra place matcher, they're clicking refresh. A match pops up at the top of the extra place matcher. So they check the back odds with the bookmaker, make sure they match up with the extra place matcher. They check the lay odds on the exchange and they check the place lay odds on the exchange. It all matches up. You're going to go for it. You've got a really good match. You can't believe it. Uh, you place your back staking with the bookmaker. You make sure you check the each way stake box. And then all of a sudden the bookmaker pops a little message up and it says we've sort of we've dropped the odds down from 21.0 to 17.0 or something like that so you're like ah oh, damn so you jump back to the extra place matcher pop the new back odds 17.0 on this case into the extra place matcher into the back odds box and then all of a sudden you know it's gone the, the value's gone the match rating's gone back down to 85 90 percent and that the value has just been completely taken away now as i said this happens because bookmakers don't dish out value to you because you know it's, it's a it's a competitive bookmakers don't want to lose money so they need to make sure their odds are always short and that you know no one's going to take too much value off them so this obviously is the big problem i see with extra places all the time it was a problem when i first started doing it it remains a problem to this day it's probably only going to get worse and only going to get harder to extrapolate value from them in the future but the problem is if you get a really good match with the back odds the lay odds and the place lay odds you go to place your back bet with the bookmaker, the bookmaker moves their odds shorter. I see it time and time again, like I said, it still happens to this day. The way I generally, for the most part, take value from extra places is I take the value from the bookmaker straight away. So if value pops up with the bookmaker, I take it straight away. Now this is a little bit difficult for people who jump into extra places because obviously they kind of think, well, if I take this bet with a bookmaker and then go to the exchange and the odds have moved off in another direction, it could leave me with a big qualifying loss. And this, of course, is part of the skill to extra places, understanding how the markets work on the betting exchange, understanding when they're becoming really efficient and the prices aren't going to move around a great deal. Now, a lot of this has to do with the type of race that it is, the amount of money that's matched on it, and odds range is really important as well. So the tick size is much smaller when you get like in the uh, 2.0 as, as opposed to 4.0. So it's all these kind of things you've got to kind of work out. Uh, if you're doing it the way I do it. But this for me, over the long run, it does work really well. Obviously you have to take the value of the bookmaker why it's there before they wipe it and get rid of it. But again, this, this comes down to experience and understanding how the betting exchange works. And that is a big part of your edge with extra places. And make no mistake about it, this is still match betting and it is still very arbitrary, but this extra places is a, a big edge that you can make and you can create a big edge within extra places Unlike free bets and stuff, which everyone can do, not everyone's able to do extra places because they don't have enough patience, they don't have enough time, and they're not willing to put the effort in to understand how this all works and the patterns what continually occur over and over again. You've got to remember in the betting exchange, the money is making the market move, and what's behind the money is obviously people, predominantly punters, some traders and stuff like that, and they make the same decisions over and over again, so you see the same repeating patterns over and over again on the betting exchange. So if you are looking to get into extra places, the top things I would say doing, specifically at first when you're brand new to it, is lowering your expectations. So many people come in from the free bet, free bet side of things, come to extra extra places and they think, oh, this is gonna be so, so lucrative, so profitable, and it can be, it can really be that, but it's not easy. Anything in life, whether you're doing match betting or you're doing a you know, real job or anything like that, it's competitive and no one's gonna give you anything. You've gotta earn that value when you're doing extra places. It isn't dished out to you like it is with free bets. Um, so my tips would be if you are brand new to extra places and you're looking to jump in, lower your expectations, that'd be number one. Then the next thing would be just practice without placing any bets. So log out of your bookmaker account, log out of your um, your betting exchange and just um, load up your extra place matcher and just see when a, a match comes up. Just pretend you're going through the process. So jump to the bookmaker, pop in your stake into the bookmaker's stake box, you know, click place bet and then jump to the exchange and then place your lay bets there. Obviously not really placing them, but just practicing and uh, pretending you're gonna place your lay bets. And you'll be surprised how easy that actually is, that process of doing that, predominantly due to the fact that you're not actually using real money. Now, once you've mastered that and you've got that process locked in, you're pretty confident with what you're doing, then I wouldn't jump in with a hundred pound each way back stakes with a bookmaker. I would start really, really small, with super small, you know, two or three pound each way stakes and just practice the same process again. 
remain nice and calm, don't stress out about it. And then once you're happy with that staking, stake up even more to like 10 pound each way stakes, and then you'll quickly find that this becomes super easy. But a big problem is people jump into extra places right into the deep end, they jump in with like 50 pound each way stakes, and it's, it's hard, it's hard on a psychological level. If you're going in with those stakes and then the odds are moving around and everything, you'll be surprised at the amount of average people with average levels of intelligence you know, just normal people, sensible people, they come into extra places and then the mind turns to mush when they see all the odds moving and there's money on the line. So just practice, 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 practice would be my advice and just get a firm understanding of how extra places work and how the market works and stuff like that. Now for extra places in the future, as I said, the value keeps getting shorter and shorter. The competition with people trying to come into match betting and squeeze profits out of extra places keeps increasing, it keeps getting harder to squeeze out profits and the bookmakers are obviously cranking down on people doing it and they're trying to make their margins super, super tight uh, in their favour so you can't get as much profit out. But one advancement I do see in extra places which would be revolutionary in my, in my opinion would be calculating the implied probability of the horse finishing in the extra place. So in other words, calculating the true odds, the true chance of the horse landing in the extra place. Now this is the one key variable that is missing from extra places. And I've been speaking to a guy recently and he's been devising like a little table. Uh, it's very similar to the extra place match. It's laid out in the same format of the extra place matcher, which is collecting data continuously. Um, and it's basically working out the implied probability of the horse landing in the extra place. And that key number, that key piece of data can revolutionize extra places in my opinion. What I think will happen Happen if Odds Monkey or Profit Accumulator pick this kind of software up, maybe they agree some sort of a deal, and that kind of feature is in introduced into their websites, you'll see extra places move from more of a, like a, you know, a caveman type thing on your computer trying to work it out mentally in your in your own head uh, to more of a um, low risk casino type thing where you have a month EV and a month profit and loss type graph, and then the profit and loss and EV closely coincide with each other the more extra places you get on. Now that's the long term vision I see for extra places and this obviously will make it more attainable and more easy for people who aren't really familiar with how extra places work and they don't like that you know on the computer that bare bones type approach to it. I think it'll become more attainable for more people to do and obviously for that reason it'll become more and more competitive. But yeah those are my opinions for extra places. Please do let me know what you think down below in the comments. Anyway that pretty much wraps it up guys. If you want to see more content from me Hit one of the two videos what are on screen now. Cheers for watching this video guys and I'll see you soon.